Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is largest number possible. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? It says that given two numbers n and s, find the largest number that can be formed with n digits and whose sum of digits is equal to s. Return minus 1 if not possible. So basically in the input we are given two integers n and s and we need to form a number in which number of digits is n. That is the length of that number is n and the sum of those sum of the digits in that number should be equal to s. And out of all such possible combinations we need to return the largest possible number. So if we look at the example then here n is equals to 2. So we need to form a number with two digits and s is equals to 9. It means the sum of the digits should be 9. So the largest such possible number is 90. For example, 45 also satisfies this condition. 45 also has two digits and sum of digits is 9. But 45 is less than 90. 90 is the largest possible number. So 90 is our answer. Similarly, for n is equals to 3 and s is equals to 20, 992 is the largest possible number. Our task is to complete this function, find largest which takes n and s as input parameters and returns the largest possible number. Return minus 1 if no such number is possible. And the expected time complexity is big of n and expected auxiliary space is constant and the constraints are given here. So now if we think about solving this problem then basically in the input we are given two integers n and s and we need to form a number such that number of digits in it must be equal to n and the sum of all these digits should be equal to s okay the sum of digits should be equal to s now there will be multiple possible combinations such that the length of the number is n and the sum of the digits is s out of all those possible values we need to return the largest possible value largest possible value means the number which is the largest when uh, largest n digits number whose sum of digits is n all right so for example, if my n is equals to 2 or let's say n is equals to 3 and s is equals to 2, then one possible number is 110. Here also there are three digits and sum of the digits is 2. Another possible number is 200. Here also length that is number of digits is 3 and sum of the digits is 2. But 200 is larger than 110 and this will be the largest possible. So this will be answer. So now we need to focus on what? We need to find the largest number, the length of the number should be n, that is the number of digits in it and the sum of the digits must be equal to s. Now understand one thing, suppose we are given two numbers, then how can we say which number is greater uh, and which number is less? So whenever we are given two numbers, first of all, if the number of digits in both of them are unequal, then the number which have more number of digits is greater obviously. For example, if I have 111 and 99, then obviously 111 is greater than 99 because here there are three digits. Now, if the length of the two numbers are same, that is the number of digits in two numbers are same, then how, do we, how can we say which number is greater? What we can do is starting from the most significant digit, we can move towards the least significant digit and in each step compare the digits in both the numbers. The first step at which the digits are not same, at that place we see which digit is greater, which number has digit greater, that number would be greater. For example, if we have two numbers of four length, okay, then suppose this number is 1, 1, uh, 3 and 0 and this is 1, 1, 1, 9. Now what we do is starting from here. The first digit which differs in both of them, we compare them. 3 is greater than 1, so this first number is greater than second number irrespective of what is here, okay? So suppose here is 0, 0, 0 and here is 9, 9, 9. But irrespective of this part, because the first digit which differs in both of them is greater in this, so this number is greater, right? So with this, what we understand is, if we start filling from the most significant digit and move towards the least significant digit, then in the starting we should fill as large value as possible to get the biggest number. For example, if we look at here, here the number of digits is 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and some of the digits should be 59. Now I will start with the largest number possible. So I will take 9 here right what is the sum left 50 because initially it was 59 i have taken 9 here i'll again take 9 what is the sum left 41 so the sum of the remaining digit should be 41 i'll take 9 again so it will become 32 i'll take 9 again the sum remaining would be 23 
I'll take 9 again, the sum remaining would be 14, I'll take 9 again, so the sum remaining would be how much, 5, because if we see here 9, 6 would be 54 and at last we will get 5, so now what is the largest possible number which can be placed here, we cannot place 9, because the sum of these two digits would be what, 5, what is the largest number possible now, 5, so I'll take 5 here, now what is the sum remaining 0, so I'll take 0 here, so this is the largest number which I get. So basically starting from the most significant digit and moving towards the least significant digit, at each step I'll place the largest number possible, okay. If we look at the second example, n is equals to 6 and sum is equals to 36, right. So there would be 6 digits starting with 9, the remaining sum would be how much, 27 starting here also I'll place 9, remaining sum would be 18, here also I'll place 9, the remaining sum would be 9, here also I'll place 9, remaining sum would be 0, so I'll place 0 here and this would be the largest number possible, okay. So this is basically the concept, we will start moving from MSB, keep going till LSB or most significant digit to last significant digit out of all the end digits and at each place store the largest number which is possible. Now let's look at its implementation. So now if we look at the implementation, so what I have done is we have to return string. So I have taken string as an answer, initially empty string. I have started a num equals to 9. Num is basically the digit which we will place at each position starting from most significant digit to the least significant digit, okay. And i is used to loop, okay. Now there will be two cases when the answer would not be possible and we will return minus 1. One, when even if we place 9 at all the places, the sum is still less than given s, okay. So for example, my s is equals to let's say 30 and n is equals to 3. So even if I place 9, 9 and 9 here, I will get the sum as 27 and this would be less than 30. I cannot form the number such that sum of digits is 30. So in case if 9 star n is less than s, we will return minus 1. Second condition when we will get minus 1 is when the sum given is 0 but n is greater than 1. Now understand if n is equals to 1 that is only one digit number and if sum is 0 we can take 0 this is valid. But if n is greater than 1 then taking 0 0 or 0 0 0 this is invalid. So if sum is equals to 0 and n is greater than 1 then return minus 1 else if 9 star n is less than s in that case also return minus 1. If these two are not the cases, then we will be able to form the number. So what we will do is from the first place to the last place we will go. And if uh, num is greater than s, then num will become s. So basically what I am doing is suppose my number of digits is 3 and sum of the digits is let us say 20. So at first place I will put 9, at second place I will put 9. Now what will be the sum remaining 2? So, if num is greater than s, num will still be 9, but uh, now the required sum is only 2, then make num is equals to s. So, the next digit to be added will become what? 2. So, I will add 2 here, okay. So, if num is greater than s, then num is equals to s and then answer is equal to answer plus character of num plus 48 because num is integer, I need to convert it into character. So, I add 48 that is the ASCII value of character 0 and convert it into character and the sum remaining after this step would be s is equals to s minus num. So at each step we will de keep decreasing the sum. So initially it is 20, after finishing this step the sum would become 11, after finishing this step the sum would become 2 and so on, okay. And then finally we will return the answer. What would be the time complexity? The time complexity here would be big O of n, that is the number of digits because we are running a loop of size n. What would be the auxiliary space? The auxiliary space required here would be big O of n because we need to return string in the answer and there will be n characters in the string. So we need to store this string in one string, okay. So it will occupy big O of n space. Now let's submit this code. So let me submit it. So we have solved this problem successfully. I hope you have understood this solution completely. Thank you.